it's a bit blowy. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to today's vlog. Hi. Hope you enjoyed our Tidal Thames adventure and what an adventure fun. it was. Yes, fun. Now, at the time, Jan, that wasn't one of the words I would have used, but there you go. No, <laughs> especially when I was retching over the side. Yes, Sorry. That, that noise was her screaming and shouting and a bit of retching in the background. <laughs> um, anyway, we're now heading back because if you remember when we first started this trip, we said we wanted to get to Letch Lake and that's where we're going to head to now. Well, not actually today. We're going to head there slowly and we're going to stop off at Oxford, somewhere near Osney Lock. We've stopped there before and we know it's a nice little mooring. Walk into town. We've got a food delivery coming, so it's a perfect place to stop because it's next to a road. And we'll stay there for a couple of nights. When I say we, you may recall that when we got to Limehouse Marina, we met up with Steve and Chris and Smudge on Amy Jo and ever since then that's the beginning of August we've been cruising with them if you watch their live stream you'll have seen us well you'll, you'll have seen the back of me <laughs> probably my best view actually no <laughs> and we've had some great times with Steve and Chris brilliant absolutely uh, brilliant you went you went skinny well not skinny no dipping. I didn't go skinny dipping. I went swimming. You went swimming. Outside Hampton Court. Yeah. And Chris and I swam the width of the Thames. Oh, what? Shall I get that shot there then? Straight in boobs. <laughs> oh. It's cold when you move. We're starting an OnlyFans account. Yeah. Back you home. Do you think he'll follow you in? Just sliver. Yeah, go on. Oh my god. Swan. What? what? You're joking. What? <laughs> I can't get out. You're all right. I can't be doing the swans. And Steve tried to get Smudge in. Oh yes, Steve came in as well, didn't he? Yeah, Steve was in in his shorts. And he tried to get Smudge in, but Smudge was having none of it. <laughs> oh thanks, you got me wet, thanks. You didn't think much of that, did you? <laughs> Over on our right hand side, we can see three nutters and a dog. And then what else did you do? Oh, um, we nicked. Well, we met up with <laughs> Amy and Wes on Boat, Boat Time Nine. UK, and they've got a little dinghy. And we nicked it. You and Chris went off, didn't you? Yeah. But they'd lost one of their oars. <laughs> oh, I did not read. <laughs> we need another oar. We've nicked. Times it's funny, I can see a couple of oars. Yeah, they're just called <laughs> time now. <laughs> anyway, so here we are, and we will shortly be getting to Austin. This is where we've been for a few days. A um, bit of building work going on in the background there. 
I think that used to be an old warehouse or something or other. First thing we've got to do this morning is go under the lowest bridge on the Upper Thames. Seven foot six clearance. We've taken the aerials down, we should be able to do it. Um, obviously it's less if there's a flood or the river level rises, but as you probably know, we're low on water around the country, so yeah, but it's still bum clenching time. Here we go. From this angle, it looks like we're not going to go under, but we will do. Trust me, <laughs> said Bernard Matthews to the turkey. So you'll appreciate that the other side of this bridge, we won't be seeing any of those big cruisers just smaller ones. The big cruisers do come down here as far as uh, Osney to moor up but then they'll spin back or rather reverse back into the marina and then turn round and go back down this part of the Thames. Here we go, the camera's going to have to come down I think. I'll leave it right to the last minute. You'll be on the edge of your seat. Tony, no, please, turn that camera down. Three, two, one. And we're back in the room, or well, back on the river. Inches to spare. Of course, this is the bit we didn't show you when we came on to the Thames when we left the Oxford Canal. We started the other side of Osney Lock as we were going through Oxford. We're still going through Oxford, actually. But then once we get past King's Lock, it'll be totally new waters to us. Hard to believe, when we first came down here, it was the 1st of July, two months ago. And obviously on the 6th of August, we met up with Steve and Chris on Life On Board Amy Jo, who are currently behind us. And we've been cruising with them since we first met them. Been great fun, as Jan said earlier on. Swimming, canoeing, <laughs> having a right old laugh. And now we're off to Latchley together. I don't think we're going to get any further than Ainsham Lock today. Only because it's um, Friday, which means the higher base a bit further along will be a bit busy. We'll start to get a bit busy with higher boats coming back and going out for the weekend. Ainsham Lock has also got a L Sand Point and we need to empty that. So that's what we'll do. Coming up on our starboard side, that's our right side, where I'm pointing the camera, you'll see a little arched bridge. That takes you, well that's actually called a sheep wash channel, and it was where the farmer would wash his sheep before he sold them at the market. There's today's useless information number one. That takes you to the Isis lock, and that will bring you back onto the Oxford Canal. There's a couple of low bridges there, uh, railway bridges actually. That's also quite low, but that's a favourite little spot for narrowboats to go up. This section has got a very um, canal-like feel to it. 
obviously it's um, shrouded with trees Oxford over to the right I have no idea what's over to the left I think it's fields I think but the only reason you know it's a river is you you can tell it's deep water if that makes any sense and of course this is a complete antithesis to the last couple of vlogs you may have seen <laughs> very calm and relaxing it should be today Don't worry, I've got it. Huh? First lock of the day. It's a self-serve lock. It's the blue sign. So that means Jan's got to do it herself. I'm not sure whether Chris is going to come up. Now these are slightly different to the ones the other side of Osney because we've also got the handheld steering wheel contraption. Same principle. The steering wheel just open sluices and you see them rising up I don't know if you can see those two black rectangular things This is all that remains of Godstow Abbey. I think it was a nunnery one time. And there's some work going on up ahead. We have a sophisticated traffic light system like you would do on the roads. It was red a minute ago. We've been given the green light to go ahead. You'll see the work in a minute, presumably. No idea what they're doing. I should read the notices, but there you go. I'm guessing they're, gonna, they're doing the edge of the river. But until we get there, I've no idea. It looks like they're working on the bridge. This is another low bridge.
We're now at King's Lock. Jan remembers this one, she said, ah, oh, this is the wheel lock. And I went, no, this is the fake lock. <laughs> and there's your crap joke of the video. Uh, no, I think what she means is it works with a wheel rather than by pressing buttons. You can see the two wheels on the, in the middle, like a pair of eyes looking at you. And there's a red and a white at the top of each metal pole which shows you whether the sluices are open or closed. But if, if Steve wants his bow and stern I'll do that. Don't jump much. If you do you're strangling yourself. You could do with having instructions on these can not you? Oh yeah yeah. I'm not sure what these two are doing. At least this way you can gauge opening the sluices. This little opening on our right, that's actually Duke's Cup. Leads to Duke's Lock and onto the Oxford Canal. In fact, that's the way we came down. We will be going that way back, obviously, um, but I'm not filming it now because we're not going that way. New bit of water. So I think you can see how different the Thames is at this stage. The upper Thames, as I say. There's a boat here that's not quite in the water. Um, big wooded area you can see in the distance that's Witham Great Wood I believe from somebody on Amy Joe's live feed said that it featured in an Inspector Morse episode if you're overseas and you're not sure what Inspector Morse is it was a detective series and he was played by Inspector Morse was played by an actor called John Thor very famous for his role in the Sweeney as the governor and it was based in Oxford so a lot of Oxford and Oxfordshire was used as the backdrop for most of the episodes and this was one of them shall I come down to your level dear <laughs> you'll have to come down a lot more than well, that I'm really I'm, I'm, I'm nearly out of the frame look <laughs> you really need to get your stand then you'll be able to see above the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Even the flowers are a bit higher than you. Anyway, I was going to ask you what you thought of this part of the river because it's completely different. I think different, it's isn't beautiful. It? It's different, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a very wide canal, don't you think? Yeah. And it's got hills. It's got hills. It's got, we've got nice trees and there's a wood on this side over here. Jabberwocky. There's um, some moorings on this side. And I'm guessing that's the. Yeah, that looks private on that side over there. And these are the moorings that you can have because I think 
guessing the, the let's have a look at the map. The Thames path goes all the way, it must go all the way to Letchley. Oh no. Hush my mouth, Tony. I know nothing until I look at the map. The Thames path is here. Um, so this is private land over here. Hiya. Oh, yeah. And although it is Friday at the end of bank holiday week, it's still quiet. We're only going as far as Ancient Lock. There's water and L sand. Allegedly there's moorings, but as we know from experience, ah, we did check because you can actually book. Funny enough, I did email the Environment Agency a few weeks back when we got caught out at the lock where somebody had booked. We hadn't because we didn't know there was a booking system in place. And in fact, the website at the time didn't say. It said short stay moorings are available. It didn't say which locks. Now, surprise, surprise, when you go on the website, um, it's actually got double stars at the side of all the locks that have a short stay mooring. And a contact email with a subject line that you can email EA and ask to book for a short stay mooring. Which is what we did, because we thought we'd be somewhere for Sunday and it's got, it says on the website, Do you think short that's stay uh... mooring. And they just phoned up and said, there's no moorings there. <laughs> Great, well, well done, well done EA. EA. That system's not working, is it really? <laughs> anyway, at least I did it and at least they called me back. Anyway, enough of all that yeah, yeah, mumbo yeah. jumbo. I haven't got the best of weather, but... No, 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 but the, it brings the trees out, doesn't it? Because they all look nice and green. Little tinges of brown and gold, because we're heading towards autumn, aren't we? Yeah. I think the lack of speed in boats going the other way also helps make it quite serene around here. That and the bends, what do you reckon? Oh yeah, it's a, no, bit, it's it's a bit bendy. And we just met a, a boat at Duke's Lock and they live in Letchlade. Duke's so they, Cut. Duke's Cut. Yeah. Um, they live in Le Letchlade and they said that the water levels are fine. They yeah. even said it was better than normal. Oh. So, yeah. fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, we have had some rain, I mean, not, admittedly not a lot, but we've had some rain since those 40 degree heat days where we all sort of boiled to death and looked like lobsters afterwards. It's well, like a lobster. some of us look like lobsters. I've got, I've got a nice tan. Nice tan, don't you think? No, okay. So this is where we're going to moor up for the night, just past it at the lock. We're just getting some water at the moment and then we'll spin round and moor up at the side of Amy Jo. Breast up or raft up, whatever you want to call it. And because of these bends, it takes a bit of time getting from one side of the river to the other. 